M to M program, which stands for Models to Monument, is perhaps the most important public project of the Art Students League. And it is significant for the following reason. The Art Students League subsidizes monumental public sculpture for the parks of New York, specifically Riverside Park. Students from all over the country, and particularly the League, put in an application uh, with a proposal for a large public sculpture. The League then selects those four to eight sculptors whom the League considers to be uh, the most promising in terms of their suggested projects. We then have Greg Wyeth, who's an internationally known sculptor, head up the program and he mentors the finalists to the point where they have maquettes, which are small examples of their proposed sculptures, and then a selection is made and those selections are ultimately built either in our basement, in our sculpture studios, or at foundries outside the League into monumental public sculpture. We work very closely with Jonathan Coons and Jennifer Lanzas at Parks, who are brilliant curators of the sculpture and other art in the park. So it's a collaboration between the League and New York City to put these sculptures in the public parks of New York. This is a partnership with the Art Students League and the Parks Department that began about a decade ago. For seven years, there was a program in the southern end of the park known as Riverside South, not far from where the Art Students League is. And this is the first installation, the eighth altogether, uh, that has been at this location. And it's a chance to give students an opportunity to take from a studio maquette to large-scale monumental art. The sculpture I, I'm sitting on is um, was conceived of by coming to this space and just observing the people in the park, the how the space was used, and trying to think uh, about like all the different ways you sort of enter the park, the kind of things that people might want in the park, and just seeing what we could do with that. I envisioned something very feminine with a feminine energy and in tune with nature and the elements. So when I visited this particular site and saw all the little boulders around uh, in, in this field, I thought it would be interesting to create a sort of uh, mother figure to the boulders, a central figure that would unify them all and the landscape in general. also wanted the piece, uh, being a public art piece, to be uh, very welcoming and inclusive to the public. And so I envisioned an opening in it, and I wanted the opening to frame the view of the the river uh, in order to create a dialogue and a harmonious balance between uh, the solidity of the stone and the fluidity of water. I began working on small maquettes, a series of small maquettes, mostly in clay. And later on, I developed mid-sized maquettes. And when I chose the, the right piece that I really wanted to make, I worked along with engineers and fabricators and uh, designers to be able to actually give form to the, the monumental piece. I was given the opportunity to really explore different things for a public space. A lot of the things that you may not think about become apparent that are just like safety issues and uh, logistics and the longevity of materials put out in the open elements. Many, many things to consider when you're um, designing something that's for the public. The public art program of the Parks Department began in 1967 and it's very important for a number of reasons. It gives opportunity to artists to create work in public settings and it gives opportunity to the public to receive that artwork, to just have it part of their daily lives. We don't charge admission, 
and we give the public a chance, a public, by the way, for which many people, especially children, never have the opportunity or rarely have the opportunity to go to a museum, uh, and they can see works of art of all different sizes, materials, styles, subjects, and symbolism. We see it as a way a museum without walls, a gallery without walls, that satisfies a number of needs, both of creativity as well as public uh, enjoyment and enhancement of our public parks.